Hi everyone, it's Leslie Oman here from Hungry Heffy Crafts and I am part of an exciting blog hop today. Save the crafty YouTuber video hop. So YouTube changed its rules and regulations recently so that you had to have a certain number of subscribers in order to monetize your videos. And um, we want to help our industry because there's a lot of people out there that rely on a few pennies from YouTube. So Justine Hovey has kindly put together a hop and there are so many prizes. So you guys need to like and subscribe the video and in my comments below, you can click to go on to the next stop on the hop and there's prizes on every stop. So today for my card, I'm making a shaker card, a hoppy Easter shaker card featuring Heffy Doodle Honey Bunny Boo stamps and dies. And I'm also using the Clover Frame dies. So this gives me a lovely stitched A2 um, like card size of a rectangle. And then there's another fancy frame that I'm cutting out in the inside so that I can create a frame for my shaker card. I've also prepared a couple of clouds using some lawn fawn dies and the stitched simple hillside border die for a little grassy mound. And I'll add some color using some tumble glass distress inks to the edge of my clouds. And then for my grass, I'm actually going to use an ink pad, a new one. <laughs> it's called Aquatini. It's a Catherine Pooler ink. Now, my my camera does not like this color. It's like a teal color. And it, the camera always makes it look a lot more blue than it actually is. But in the photos, you'll see that it is actually a gorgeous teal color. Now, in the Honey Bunny Boo coordinating dies, there is a die which is a little tuft of grass and I'm going to use that without the stamp. I'm just going to create three little tufts of grass on my grassy border here. And this will allow me to tuck some elements in behind the grass for a bit more of a dimensional look. For my stamping, I'm using my Misty Tool and the Honey Bunny Boo stamps from Heffy Doodle. And I'm working on some Claire Fontaine DCP paper today because I'm going to be doing some Copic coloring. So let's get a little close up of this as I whiz through my Copic coloring. I'm using three different kind of color tones for my bunnies. First of all, some warm grays. And then I'm, I've got some sort of orangey tones for my second bunny. And then I'm going to have some brown tones for the third bunny. As well as my bunnies, I've stamped a couple of these Easter egg images and I'm using some, uh, I guess like pastel colors for these because, well, it's Easter. Easter and spring makes you think of pastels, don't they? It does for me. <laughs> so these images are really quick and easy to color. If you're familiar with Heffy Doodle, then you will know that, that that's what, I, um, that's what we're going for whenever we're creating our stamps and they do have coordinating dies. So once we have this all colored in, we'll get them cut out. So I'll just take a moment to mention that there will be a prize at each stop. There's more information over on the Justine Hovey um, blog and also on my blog, hungryheffycrafts.com. I can't wait for you guys to see. There's so many prizes, it's going to be amazing. So let's finish off this little bunny boo here and I'll grab my coordinating dies and stick them down with a little washi tape before I run them through my machine. And here we have all of our lovely die cut images here, ready to build a scene inside my shaker card. Now to assemble my card, I'm using a side folding note card, but I'm going to have it like a tent. And I have prepared these panels so that they are five and a half inches wide. So I can just use my ATG gun very quickly to stick that onto the front of my card blank. And I've also die cut a piece of acetate using that same A2 stitched uh, rectangle die from the clover frame section. So I'll stick that onto my frame and then assemble my bunnies where I think I want them to be. And I've tucked some of the little eggs in behind the grass and things. And that little bunny on the right 
the die actually cuts around his paw so you can tuck the little Easter egg inside his paw. It's really cute. Now to move over to my sentiment, I'm using some of the new Heffy Cuts. There is a standalone die, which is a brush lettered Easter. And um, I actually drew this with a brush and some ink and then scanned it in and made it into a die. So I thought it was really fun. And one of the stamps in the set says Hoppy. So I'll stamp that onto my background and then I've layered up four die cut um, pieces of the Easter word using a pastel yellow color and I've stuck them all together so that it has this sort of chipboard effect. I'll add some of my foam tape now to the underside of my frame and I will prepare for my shaky shaky bits. These are some sequins from Lucy's Little Things, Lucy's Cards I think it is and it's called something to do with garden. I'll put it in the notes below. I'll stick that on and then my shaker is assembled. I just need to finish off my card by sticking down the word Easter, the little bunny and those three cute little Easter eggs on the side. So don't forget to leave a comment, like and subscribe and then just down below in the information you'll see the, the link to the next person on the hop and you can hop your way and get lots of inspiration as you go. Thank you so much for watching this video. Here's some more videos that you may like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to make sure that you don't miss any of my other videos as soon as they're released. You can also leave me a like and a comment down here and don't forget to follow me on social media at Hungry Heffy. I'll see you there. Have a great day and happy crafting. Bye.